is up guys welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be checking out a map that is going to be released to the public soon um which is this driftland aussie from a set of Corsa. so um we're going to run this but we are also checking out a restyle of the 200 bx now as you can see this is the original 200 bx this has got like a wide body kit and my custom skin applied but yeah ignore that um, and then this look how clean that this looks from the side it looks legit like an s13 legit like an s13 so let's get front on well obviously that one hasn't got a bumper as such so actually what we'll do is we'll go do that quickly i hope i changed the right one i did there we go but it's the wrong way let's just turn it around there we go just rip. There we go. So, we've got exactly the same colour. Base versions of it. Let's get into third person. Let's take a look at the rear first. So look, you can definitely tell it's had a redesign of the... Uh, I don't know if the brakes had a redesign a little bit, but the rear trunk and all that. This one looks more cleaner than this. Like, this has got more of a weird... This is literally perfectly... I love this. Um, brake lights change location, I believe. And it looks insane. So just get it side by side. So that one looks like that. Which looks okay. I just don't like the, uh, the slant of search on that. But that. Oh my god, that is literally perfect. I'm definitely going to have to make a skin for this. This is going to be my new drift car. No joke. Okay, and then we're going to get a front end view. To me, it looks the same, but let me just go down lower a little bit. Oh no, I think I, I believe this one's a little bit taller, personally, and it looks better. <laughs> it's not much of a redesign, but um, the front end redesign, sorry, but there is a little difference as you can see. Now let's get into this. This is the base version, so we're just gonna see if it can drift. Oh, it's automatic. No, we need to change that straight away. We need a clutch, guys. Engine. It's got a two-liter engine in line four. Um, stock exhaust. We haven't changed nothing. We're just going to put a five-speed manual in it. I think these have got the old sounds. Yeah, it's definitely got the old sounds. We're definitely going to have to update this. But it drifts. Oh, dear. Wow, the suspension feels very weird. Oh, no. We're just going to be going like this for ages. There we go. It's going to be a little clutch kick. Let's get a handbrake in there. Oh, we're at full lock. We need... Oh, do you... Guys, I've just had an idea. Do you think, because it's built off the 200BX... Yikes. It doesn't. Okay, we can just put the drift steer in it. Okay. We're just gonna get the drifter in. Damn, mine doesn't work. Okay, so we're just gonna send it one more time, but we're gonna see if we can actually keep a straight line instead of swaying all over at the start. Okay, so the engine sounds need to be updated. Brake! Oh, I didn't want to hit that cone. So we have got an open diff, I think. So it's not really got a lot of power as well, so we can't really get it sideways. Yeah, it hasn't got the power yet. I'm trying to force it to go sideways, but it's not going sideways. I'm <laughs> there we go, we've got a little bit. Remember, this is a base tune, open diff, everything. Oh no, I pressed handbrake too long. Oh my god, open diff life. You can <laughs> Okay. I tried to clutch kick it out, but it's just not doing it. There we go, we've got a little bit. Wall ride! <laughs> okay, we're just gonna full send it one last time, and then we're gonna see if we can upgrade the engine a little bit. Do a little custom build for this little. We're gonna call it a drift build. Just a tap. 
just the tap, guys. Just the tap. Okay, let's reset. We're going to do a little custom build out of this. Why not? So this is going to be a called a drift build series. We're going to do now. This is a good idea. Okay, so. Let's start with the engine first. We want more power. Large diameter. Exhaust. Yeah, why not? The engine needs to be changed. Like, the sound of it, but... Personally, I don't really know what to do with that. I need to have a look in the files to see if we can actually upgrade the sound. Um, oh, okay, we've got some wide body. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. I like it. I like it. I dig that. Wait, I mean, that does, it doesn't really line up with the front there. Do we have to put the front bumper on, maybe? Uh, front bumper, front bumper. No, that's left. Front bumper. I think it's gonna be this one because obviously it's the wide body. Oh wow. Oh wow, what do we just break? Yikes. Okay. <laughs> we can put a front bash bar on that. There we go. And we're gonna have to remove the front bumper support because that glitches with that. That's fine. Okay, we've got no. Yeah, I like the no. The bash bar front look. It looks amazing. Okay, rear. Let's just change. Uh, where's the rear bumper? Let's see what there is. Oh, well, wide body. Okay, I guess we could take that. Mm, no. Where are you? Where are you? I'm just gonna get a rear bumper. Okay, the engine should be good now. Suspension. We're gonna have to put. Um, some race rear coilovers in, and for the front, we're gonna put some race front coilovers in. And I'm pretty sure that is done for the front, except from our wheels, which I'm gonna go with our nice basic ones that I normally go for. And that is not in this pack, so we're gonna have to find some lovely wheels quickly. Oh, actually, I do like these ones. We're gonna try these ones. We're gonna try some blacked out wheels. Oh yes, yes please. Okay, five lug. Let's change the standard rear wheels to 17 by nine. Wait, was it? Yes, yeah, 17 by nine we have on the front. There we go. We have exactly the same wheels, exactly the same everything. A little bit wider than I thought, but that's fine. We're gonna be changing these to a sport tire. And then same for the front because we don't want too too much grip on the front. Um now let's Okay, we're just gonna put max camp and see what happens. Um I don't think this is just gonna break the game. This is an old mod, I believe. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, okay good then. Rear left camber looks kinda good. The tires are kinda wide, but I guess we'll leave for that. Uh, rear left toe, we've got a lot of toe. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. We're gonna put the rear in. Actually, we'll leave it out for a second. We're gonna be lowering the car a lot. Bam, bam. We're just gonna press apply, see what happens. Okay, yeah, we're liking that. Okay, I'm liking the look of that. Um, turbocharger, wastegate limit. We're probably gonna put it to around a 28 psi. It's gonna start at around 14 psi. We're gonna just press apply, we're then gonna go over to the body and we're gonna see what spoilers we have. Not much, we're gonna see what the GT wing looks like. No thank you. Small dip, that'll do. Yep, I kinda, mm, it's floating a little bit but I can live with that because it kinda looks good. <laughs> Not the floatiness but. So we're gonna go on a base tune out here. And we forgot the main important thing, guys. Rear differential. Welded rear differential. And we still Oh wow, we're definitely gonna have to turn and change the it sounds like a whistle. No, we're definitely not going to win that one. <laughs> Let's try it one last time, and then we're going to change up the map to another one that's released on the public, I believe. 
Oh no! <laughs> Yikes, we have literally just... Oh, the damage is really good. Apart from a flu glitching us there, but that's really it. Okay, last one. Oh, we nearly stalled it. Okay. Let's hit the whistle. <laughs> that whistle sounds so amazing. I'm trying to get the angle, but I, I'm not used to this car, but... There we go. No, <laughs> I pressed the brake too much. Listen to this engine sound though, please. <laughs> it's definitely the old version. Oh, can't find it, grinder. When the turbo puts down uh, like pressure, that is so funny, that sound. Oh, that clipping point, I got it, definitely. Didn't get that one aside. No, that brake literally just sends you. We've got a little bit of damage, but we'll carry on. Okay, last lap. Last lap, guys. Let's do this. Oh, dear. There's a wall. Just a tap. No, we've put too much power. Okay, let's switch it over to a different map. Let's make sure that we save. Drift tuned. Save. Actually, you want to. Oh, okay, we want to override that. We want to get a nicer picture. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're going to switch over the map and we'll see you there. So, we have arrived at Industrial, which is a common drift spot on the Bleem NG multiplayer. Recently, there has been loads of people wanting to drift. And I run a little drift community with a friend called Mr. Weedy, and we want a big drift community for BMG. So if you want to come and join there, I will leave a link down below to the new Discord that we are running, and I stalled the engine. So I'll leave a link down below to the new Discord, and it'll be great to have you there. So let's see if we can get a nice first run on here. Very much doubt it, I haven't run this course for a little while. Um, and especially not with this car. No, nope. there's a ball there. Okay. Oh no, I forgot to set my respawn point. Okay, we're actually gonna do half this course. There we go. We definitely need an angle kit. I'll definitely be making an angle kit for this. Okay, let's just handbrake it around. Perfect. I'm just going to send it, and I'm pretty sure you go. I messed up that, but we're just going to make a free run around here. Oh, Ooh, I was close to that pole. There's a speed bump, there was a pothole there. Had a little break there. Too much angle, oh, we need an angle kit. <laughs> I think you go like round this way. I haven't run this for ages, so bear with me. I'm sorry, Mr. Weedy, if you're watching this and I'm doing the course wrong, but I'm sorry. Oh, too much angle. This car is amazing so far. I'm definitely going to be editing it um, and probably making my own little custom bit out of it for the drift community. And we're definitely going to be changing these sounds up. They're amazing. The mod is amazing so far. It has a lot of tuning parts. Oh! Okay, good. Um, it has all the base conflicts from the 200BX. And then, obviously, I've just made my own drift one. So. I'm just going to full send it in. No! <laughs> I thought I was really going to make that then. Damn. Okay, we're going to send it one last time. Okay, 
So send it in. Actually, we're going to send this drift. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is how we make an exit, guys. So, thank you all for watching. If you did, leave, uh, like, leave. Oh, my steering's definitely messed up. No! <laughs> That's how most boy racers leave a drift mate. They just end up trying to drift and then they end up curbing the car. So, um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.